hello guys my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to go ahead and start working with alerts in django we're going to be displaying alerts that we've created during the authentication and not only alerts that we've created during the authentication but other alerts that we're going to be creating in the course of this tutorial so when a user add a product it's going to show an alert like your product was successfully added when the user logs out it's going to show them you were logged out when it when the logs in it's going to show them you were logged in when they try logging in or creating an account with invalid details it's gonna say hey come on you're trying to create an account with invalid email or something like that so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video drop a like consider subscribing if you want to get a template check out the link in the description that should point you the right direction so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is open up my code editor and I want to search for a file that's going to be called base.html or that is already called base.html and if you can find out by searching, hit ctrl G, search for base.html or you want to come over to the templates, then come over to the partials and that's where you're going to find it. So um, our template is already in built with bootstrap so you don't need to stress yourself out about anything of that nature all you need to do is just scroll all the way to the to the parts that actually ends the header okay so over here i'm just going to come over to slash header this is what we're looking for now i just want you guys to count two divs after two divs give a space over here then that's where we're going to create the messages so it's kind of tricky but just pay attention it's quite easy if you actually pay attention now firstly we want to check if there are any messages so what does this mean now if you write this code this code is pretty much gonna hop over to your views.py over here in the user arts call or whatever it's just gonna hop over there and it's gonna say it's gonna look if there are messages like this okay then actually there are messages so it's gonna get back here and say yes django there are messages so what do you want to do so if there are messages now there there are gonna be a couple of message for my, for one action that's about to be to be taken right for example let's say a user is trying to log in um let's say a user is trying to log in with a username that doesn't exist then it's gonna say hey this username doesn't exist and also hey the email is invalid so we want to list out whatever errors we are getting and for that we need to loop through the errors so when I say loop through, don't get yourself confused. It's quite easy. All you need to do is iterate over all the errors and display each and every one of them. So I'm going to say for message. Now take note, you could, you could call this one peanuts. So this one, you call it wherever you want. But for message in messages, or rather for peanuts in messages. So this message is pretty much this one. And this message is pretty much all these ones that we've got over here. So you don't want to call them whatever you want, okay? But I'm going to stick with message over here because that's going to make our work look a little bit clean. Now I'm going to end for. So take note, when I said if messages, I ended if. When I said for message, I ended for. Simple as that. Now in here, I'm going to create a div. And this div, I'm going to give it a class of a lot now alongside alerts i'm also gonna say alerts dash success hopefully you guys know that that's how alerts works now before i go ahead and run this i'm just gonna cut that alerts thing and i'm gonna paste it down here so that you guys see everything that's going on so if i refresh this right now what do you notice we got this alert thing over here right looks pretty cool now what i what i could do over here is just create a strong tag and i could just say something like success and if we come over here now and refresh that's it success but if we change this to error our last dash rather danger and not error what do you think is going to happen when we refresh this this one is going to be danger what's now we want we want to automatically get the error by by whatever is it that we passed into our view so take notes in our view you could see one in right you could see success now we want to automatically get all those one in and success and fill it in here automatically so how do we do that i'm just gonna say over here um okay i think i just went all the way to the i'm just gonna say for message that's it so for this one make sure that this that you're writing is now in here because that's where we want it to be okay hopefully i'm not confusing you and um in here i'm just gonna say message dot tags so message.tags is just either 
its warning or its success or its error so that's what the tax is okay so whatever is it that you passed over here that's what you want to call then dot tax so as i told you guys tax is either success warning or error then over here we don't want to display that we want to display whatever is it that we passed in here like user doesn't exist you are logged in that's what we want to display and not just our own hard coded word and in order to do that you simply come over here and pass in message okay so when that's done i'm just gonna get back here and refresh and as you can see that's gone so what's gonna happen if i wanna um go ahead and log out so if i come over here and log out what do you notice he says you are logged out that's pretty cool right now what's gonna happen if i fill this form in with um a like a data that doesn't that doesn't exist in the database and i hit login what do you think is gonna happen it says user with blah 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 does not exist user does not exist create an account simple as that now there's gonna be a problem and that's why i, I left it out of this moment so i'm gonna show you guys what if i logged in with actually the right credentials but before that i'm just gonna come over to the crates here i'm gonna come over to crates here and um for this one if we fill this form in and let's say we want to log in with a password that doesn't match and we hit submit and register what do you notice now i think we worked with this one already so this one is actually working well but this is the problem over here if i try logging in with a cool um legit information what do you notice it actually logs me in it says you are logged in but it says user with desks at gmail.com doesn't exist that doesn't make any sense right so the problem is this i'm gonna get back to the view i'm gonna get back to the to the login so i actually left out this error because i know this error is only going to be noticed whenever we have the alerts working so for this one now guys what you want to do is just copy everything over here you see um from this user authenticate if user is not now blah 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 we're gonna copy all this and um we're gonna put it down here okay so make sure that you fix your indentation or else you're gonna keep getting errors that are gonna um really piss you off okay so when you've done this now copy that and paste it in there hopefully that wasn't too much to take in now all i'm gonna do is just get back here and i'm gonna sign out so it says you are logged out right now i'm gonna try signing in with a username that doesn't exist i'm gonna log in now what you notice it just says user with this email doesn't exist great so what if i try logging in with a legit email what do you notice it says user with text at gmail.com doesn't exist okay that is bad so now there is a problem so we need to come over here and fix it so let's take a let's actually read this again so the user should be equal to this um the user should be called authenticate if user is not known then we log in the user then we say you are logged in we return redirect them to this place right then um we actually do this show else we show that the user does not exist create an account but that is not what we wanted okay so this is what i'm gonna do over here i'm gonna uh cut this off so from over here i'm gonna cut this off and let's try doing this one more time so you guys just stick along with me while we debug this error so cut that out and i'm gonna log in so it says it actually logs us in but it still says user with that gmail.com doesn't exist so that's not what i want so either way it keeps calling this right it keeps it keeps calling this and that's not what we want what we could do is this so in order to satisfy this i actually just noticed that if we import the user model directly from the user not from the settings.py it actually goes ahead and works so make sure everything looks like this just copy the if user dot is not known and the else and paste it in the try catch and leave the except the way it is and also you could get rid of this it's not even needed so i'm gonna get rid of it till we need it then we're gonna add it so when that happens now i'm just gonna refresh this one more time and uh, from the url i'm gonna give it a thorough refresh now over here i'm gonna log in and um hopefully what do you notice now it works it says you are logged in and this is working perfectly well but before we go ahead and end of this tutorial i want to show you guys something i want to um remove all alerts after three seconds so after three seconds i wanted to just fade away and i'm going to be using 
doing that using jquery and um, in order to do that firstly you want to import jquery at the top of your project if you want to get that you can just come over here and just type um, jquery cdn something like that jquery cdn and um, over here it's going to open this up for me you could just copy this and if you want to install this just install grepa it should help you get all this but well, i'm going to be linking all the source all the um all the cdns over here in a snippets page that you guys are going to get when you get the source code it's going to be there for you all so when you've done this i'm just going to get back to where i wrote the for message right i'm gonna head back to for message so just down here i'm gonna write the script i could actually just do it in here right i could just do it in here so i'm just gonna open up a script tag just like that and in here what i want to set a timeout on is on this a lot so what do i have to do so i need to create um, a set timeout um, function and this one is going to be an arrow function hopefully you guys know how arrow functions works and um, this is going to be this then I'm going to open this up over here and for this one we need to wrap all this just make sure we get back here we need to wrap all this in a parenthesis just like this okay that should work perfectly well so just down here that's where we want to put how many seconds that we want to wait before it closes and that should be three seconds so how do we go ahead and close this a lot so just in here we need to say dollar then i'm gonna choose dot a lot because this is it over here a lot that's the class then i'm gonna say dot a lot then in here what do we want to pass we're just gonna pass in close as simple as that okay so after passing in close now let's just get back here and um, let's try creating something else that's gonna throw an error or a message in general and let's see what's gonna happen let's see if the code actually works so I'm gonna log in and um, it says you were logged in perfectly well and what do you notice after sometimes it fades out so guys i think that's gonna be it hopefully um you guys enjoy this video and learn something new to make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me also turn on the bell notification you want to get a template check out the links in the description below they should help you point to the right direction to get a template and in the next video we're gonna go ahead and start working with i think that should be django context processors mad love peace out